there's a lot more at stake than just going out and doing some tricks for a crowd. There's These guys are actually putting their lives and their health on the line to perform for these people. And Daryl is a prime example about just going out for the crowd. My name is Daryl Tate. I live in Whitehorse, Yukon, Canada. I'm 21 years old and I love to shred my. Harnessed by the medicine, damn the heart is trash again Honestly it's frustrating, all the bitches festering Hurts when no one's listening, that holds my pride That holds my life, that grip so tight throughout the night I'll be alright, right. less said to be dead done Lay my bad head up if the scene is straight faking Let them snitch to bacon, I'm too busy money making Dudes playing blues playing in the backdrop I mean background, this is how it's going down Till the clock stops and the whack chops and truck stops The naysayers that got props, wanna be playing there's fake as terror system error Cause I'm still alive at the speed of light Seen them hype my name and like the news are at life That will grab the mic the bites and one for a knife I mean one for a knife Let it be said and done in the setting sun As the morning come let it be said and done in the setting sun As the morning comes As long as I'm alive I'ma take my fucking time With my people on my side We just shine, shine I don't even need a diamond I always got my pride I don't need a flashy yeah, no, like after my accident, it was basically just, it was almost being reborn, you know, I just had to like, I had to learn how to lift myself, I learned how to go to the bathroom, I had to learn how to be independent and just live for myself again. For myself, uh, I wasn't sure in the moment of what was happening with my sled. I just, I don't know, maybe air pocket in the fuel line, who knows, but I guess um, afterwards, like, uh, Rovic, a friend, family friend of ours, went over and checked the sled, and I guess it was just low on fuel, so it was just rider's error, I guess you could say. For myself, um, I never really thought I'd never walk away from it, from a crash. You know, I thought I'd be in the hospital for a few months, and, like, I'd get through and get back at it, but not once did I ever think I was never going to walk away from it. Uh, while I was going through the whole process of in the hospital and like going in through rehab and like I had an incredible support network like the whole northern Canada all the small communities pulled together they did fundraisers my friends came down and visit with me they visited my family like my parents that were there helped support them as the doctors told me I was paralyzed but I I wasn't really conscious I had to, when I came to I had to ask the nurses like basically like am I paralyzed and they wouldn't give me a straight answer I had to accept it for myself I made a video and post on YouTube that's called my past life um, basically it was just what I used to do what I loved doing and what I've accomplished and basically the next thing I wanted to put out was a video of what I am doing in the moment and what's gonna happen in the future What I love about snowmobiling is the connection with your friends when you're in the backcountry uh, or even ramping, the progression. Uh, right now we're kind of in the process, finishing processes of building uh, a seat that's adapted to my snowmobile. Um, basically we wanted design to mimic what my legs used to do. So you hit a jump, you know, you land flat, you bend your knees. I don't have that functionality anymore so we're going to mimic that with a suspension in the seat. And you know, you're side hilling, you need to transfer your weight. You lean back and forth. Um, we made an axle position that pivots back and forth. It's just gonna push my limits the way I used to. There's one thing I want people to know about me in this film is that um, I love to ride. It's been part of my life. 
and, and basically people thought this was going to stop me, but it's not going to stop. I'm going to do whatever I can to keep, keep pushing the limits.